Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. This is an adult channel. I'm saying this for a specific reason. Uh, this is not intended for, made for children. Today we're going to do a flip through of a book called Jack the Ripper, the modern colouring book by Keely Mathis. I'm a member of several groups on Facebook that deal with Jack the Ripper, um, Ripperology, um, Jack the Ripper books and so on, just because I'm interested in all sorts of historical events and that's one of them. Um, it's the whole mystery thing for me. Um, somebody posted a, a, a link to this book on Amazon and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm going to order it. It it came quite quickly. The cover's that really nice, covery stuff, buttery feel. However, it's a bit of a disappointment. It says it's premium quality. It's very small. Let me just put um, Springtime by Deborah Muller next to it because this is what I've been colouring in. So this is A4, this is your standard colouring book size. This is the Jack the Ripper book. It's around the same size as the Marilyn Monroe one I've got that I've shown you before. So I'm going to zoom in and show you the pictures. They're not very good, I've got to be honest. This is probably mostly clip art from Google. So, illustrations, Jackie Theron, art editor, Jason Harvey, St John's Press. Um, Keely Mathis, not sure who that is. So, um, just says nameplate. Uh, freelance artists from all over the world. Feel free to enjoy, uh, share these pages with friends and family. Enjoy colouring these pages as we did when we were creating them. Okay, so this one's it's, it's, it's quite um, pixelated, but it's not too bad. And it just shows uh, a man and a girl. It says Stalking Jack the Ripper. Now, I'm sure there's a book called that, so I don't know whether that's a rip off of the cover art or not. But hey, that one's not too bad, a bit pixelated. And then you've got this one here, which is teeny tiny. Look how big the page is compared to the picture, and that's why I say it's disappointing. And then you've got this one, it just says Jack the Ripper, um, and he's got a tin of a load of big beans. Oh, I see, it's a joke, it's a play on words, it's a pun. Jack the Ripper, he's letting off, he's ripping, ripping off a fart because he's ate too many baked beans. Okay, that's different. So then we've got this one. That one I quite like. That's different. And then you've got one here that uh, looks like Sherlock Holmes doing Jack the Ripper because he's wearing sort of almost like a deer stalker. Um, Jack the Ripper, no face because nobody knows what he looks like, but that's your typical Jack the Ripper look with the top hat and the coat and the, the bag. Then we've got a Jack the Ripper skeleton, almost. Very creepy looking one. I, I just wish the pictures were bigger because they're quite small. Again, at least you wouldn't need much black ink on this one or black pencil because you wouldn't use pens on this because it's double sided. That's quite gruesome. So I mean, it looks like clip art because it's like cut off at the top. I don't know. Okay, that one's not too bad, I think. And then you've got this one. So nothing really gory. Um, I was expecting there to be a fair bit of gore and to show some of the actual ripped victims or victims being ripped so far. None of that. So I wouldn't have said it was particularly adult because there's nothing really too terrible in it. They're more co comical versions. That one looks like the Joker as Jack. They're more sort of like cartoony versions of Jack the Ripper rather than... Well that one's a bit more gory. That's a bit more like it. That's what I was looking for. As you can see here he's actually ripped that person to shreds. Outside, quite gruesome. Sort of what he did to Mary Kelly but it's outside. Then you've just got this, which just looks like uh, one of those terrible police photo fits they did. And we've got this one here. Again, he's just got knives and cobbles. This one's quite uh, interesting because you can't see his face again. It's, he's just got his head down. And then, I mean, there's nothing even there. It's, it is quite disappointing. And then there's this one. This is quite... Uh, Horrific. Yeah, that's a bit more gruesome. That's a bit more like it. 
not that I, I don't actually glorify the Ripper thing. I'm actually more interested in the, the, the women and the victims and, and their stories. But, you know, if you're going to portray Jack the Ripper, you've got to show him ripping, haven't you? Yeah. Here's another one. Amazingly, that woman has nothing on except for something covering her ass. Yeah, other than Mary Kelly, who was found in a, her hovel, her room, they were all dressed. Although, obviously, their dresses have been ripped. That was quite atmospheric, but very difficult to colour because it's all black. I mean, it's grayscale, but it's... What do you do? You could just put a bit of light there, I guess. Whitechapel. So it's not a colouring book because I would call it a colouring book. Like these ones you could colour, but they're so very, very small. You need very, very sharp pencils. This one's colourable. So you're looking at Jack the Ripper, you are the victim. And then again, various versions of the Ripper. Not sure what he's wearing on his arm though. Unless that's his knife up there. Because it's so pixelated it's hard to see. I mean that just doesn't mean anything. What, who's that? You know. It, it's just a picture of a man. So I'm like really? And again this one is so dark because he's in shadow. It's like how do you colour it? You know they should just call it Jack the Ripper artwork. Uh, you know. With some pictures to colour. Now these, this is quite a um, cartoony one. I quite like that style. And this one's quite good because there's not much there. It's very faint with the Whitechapel streets in the background. And yeah. And then that's the last one. So there wasn't much gore in there as, as much as I, I think people would, would hope for in a Jack the Ripper book. Um, it's not worth the price. I think it was £8.50 um, and I would not recommend buying it for £8.50 to be honest. It's an interesting little book. If you're into to Jack the Ripper and you, you do want to try and colour some of these style grayscale pictures then do. The cartoony ones are quite nice. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a question of buyer beware because it's not a pit book you can go and pick up and have a look. It's, it's printed on Amazon paper. It's printed by Amazon. Anybody could put a book like this together. I could probably put a book like this together. I mean, it does say that, I don't know who Keely Mathis is. Um, it just says Jason Harvey, editor, editor, made with cooperation of independent freelance artists from all over the world. But it's very small. If it was bigger, those pictures would be fine. They'd be a lot easier to color and, and a lot more interesting to do. But there you go. I will leave links down below if you're interested in picking it up. I, 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 had I seen it before I bought it, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have bought it. But I will colour in it at some point. I mean, it's like the Marilyn one. Some of those pictures I'll colour and some of them I won't. I've got two copies of that book. So one's for the collection, Marilyn collection, and one's actually to use. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of Jack the Ripper, the modern colouring book. Um... If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.